In 2010, nine Turkish citizens were murdered by Israel's naval raid on the Gaza-bound aid flotilla. Now an Israeli delegation tasked with negotiating the amount and terms of compensation to be given to the family members of the Turkish victims have arrived in Ankara and held the first round of negotiations with Turkish Deputy Prime Minister Bulent Arnic. This was a positive meeting. Now the diplomatic relations between Turkey and Israel will grow. The families of the victims held a meeting out in front of the Mavi Marmara. We asked the families not to do things that could lead to problems. But the family members of the victims gathered in front of the ship to show that they are against receiving compensation and have called on their government not to undermine the goals and mission of the martyrs. Gulden Sonmez is an attorney dealing with the lawsuits against Israeli naval officials who carried out the raid. Gulden herself was on the humanitarian aid flotilla as well. The Israeli naval forces tortured the survivors of the ship. They started beating them through the airport. I was not tortured, but they forced me to take my clothes off. Marmara is part of the Palestinian struggle, and we must continue the struggle. Golden, speaking for herself and on behalf of the family members, said that they will not drop any charges and are embarrassed about the constant talk of compensation through different media outlets. She said the activists plan on returning to Gaza on the Mavi Marmara to complete the goal set out by the martyrs in 2010. Deputy Prime Minister Arnich said that the amount of compensation was not discussed during the meeting. However, the principles and the parameters used to calculate the compensation were determined. However, the family members, the actual victims of the raid, were not invited to the meeting. The family members say they don't want the compensation, but rather for Israel to lift its blockade on Gaza. Serena Shim, Press TV, Istanbul.